when Krishna entered Mathura, there was a hunchback woman named Trivarka, also known as Kubja. And Trivarka was actually an expansion of Satyabhama, or let us explain it systematically. Satyabhama is a goddess of fortune, the eternal consort of the Lord. Her expansion is Prithvi, which is Mother Earth, or Bhumi. Bhumi is the consort of the Lord. In Tirupati, according to tradition, before you go to see Balaji, you're supposed to first offer your prayers and worship to Bhuvaraha. That is the tradition. Bhumi Devi and Varaha. Varaha is Vishnu himself, the Lord, and Bhu Devi is his consort, Mother Earth. So this Prithvi manifested herself as Kubja. Now Kubja, she was walking down the street with very fragrant, expensive, fine oils. Kamsa was taking all of her oils for his own demoniac purposes. Kamsa not only was a very powerful asura, but he very much represents the egoistic mindset of I and mine without regard for the laws of God or nature. Kubja was being utilized in the service of Kamsa. And because of that association, she was a hunchback in a very ugly form. But Krishna saw her. A hunchback is a great burden. Can you imagine what a burden it is to have a hunchback? You can't stand up straight. It's a massive weight on you and you're just walking very difficultly and nobody wants to look at you. It's a big burden. So Mother Earth and Kubja was walking like a hunchback under the order of Kamsa taking the fine oils to him. Krishna saw her and said, Oh, beautiful lady. She wasn't beautiful. Nobody else thought she was beautiful. <laughs> but Krishna saw the beauty within her. Ultimately, Krishna sees the beauty within every living being. We're all Satchidananda. We're all eternal. We're all his loving servants. Krishna said, Oh, beautiful woman, please give me your scented oils. And Kubja was delighted, even though she had to go completely against the order of Kamsa. All the oils that he was expecting, she offered to Krishna and Balaram. She anointed their bodies with these oils. And Krishna was so happy with her that he put both of his feet on her two feet. And then with his two fingers, his two index fingers, he put them under her chin and pulled up. And she became straight. Her hunchback disappeared and she became the most beautiful woman. She was absolutely beautiful. And not only that, but Krishna actually awakened conjugal feelings of love, Madhurya Ras, within her heart. And she pulled Krishna's dhoti. And Krishna looked around, and his friends were there. And he promised, I will come to your home later. So Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, our beloved Acharya, explains it in this way, that this is Krishna's mission, to remove the burden from Mother Earth, to remove her from the miseries of the weight of so many people, plundering, abusing, and committing sinful activities upon her. What is our right? We divide up the earth and call it our own, with no regard to God. But Krishna comes to remove that burden and to remove it from any individual who takes shelter of him. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com. <laughs>